I think the recruiting high would be putting together a team. Like I said, I when I first got into that role, and I was with a Fortune 200 company mm -hmm. that was centralizing recruiting. In other words, when I got to that group, pieces and parts were all over the place. And so mm -hmm. no one really handled the entire recruiting cycle. Right. Early on, I started doing a lot of those things myself and having my own intake meetings with management and putting together my own strategies for hiring and then making my own offers and doing doing everything myself. Right. Ultimately handed off to an admin to, to, to help me with the paperwork and things. One of the things we found was that, hey, with the volume we're doing, we've got to centralize these things. Mm -hmm. So I'd like to I'd like to think, and I know I can because I can look back to that experience. The 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 people that I hired hired some incredibly talented smart future thinking people mm -hmm. that that make that knew how to that knew how to recruit mm -hmm. because it is as much art as it is science right and and they knew how to do it and they knew how to do it well i, I call it my book of business right. I, I look back to my former employer many probably 75 percent of the people i hired there are still there many of them are now in leadership roles Awesome. And and I take great pride in that. You know, they're they're running recruiting, they're running the diversity de components, they're running uh, field offices like business partner yeah. type roles. Yeah, I can look at that and say I knew I was hiring really really talented people to be in the right places at the right time. Labor relations was a challenge from the standpoint that when I got in we started to gut contracts mm -hmm. we were we were and and unfortunately one of the reasons that i'm no longer with that organization was that we were effectively setting up the businesses to be sold okay so if i look and say what was successful well i successfully negotiated myself out of a job right <laughs> <laughs> because we we were able to get the union and the new employer into a position to come to agreement on right. some really major changes mm -hmm. in those contracts mm -hmm. Again, I wouldn't trade that experience for the world. And I know you know you and I talked a little bit about union in our in our conversation on social yes. hour. Mm -hmm. it, it is a very different beast. It's mm -hmm. a very different a skill. I, I always tell people, you know, you have to you have to know that silence is golden. You don't have to fill the space. That is really hard for some people to understand. It is. That 